For centuries, fishermen have spun harrowing tales of terrifying sea creatures like the Bermuda Beast, a colossal-sized monster four times the size of the Eiffel Tower that is capable of leaping out of the water and snatching up planes midair. This legendary beast may be folklore, but a bizarre sea creature found off the coast of Indonesia may be evidence that something like the Bermuda Beast actually exists. Take a look. It's May 2017 in Indonesia's Maluku province. Locals are heading out to work when they make a gigantic, gruesome discovery floating in the water. Cell phone video shows them examining the rotting corpse of a 50-foot dead sea creature that has somehow washed ashore. Here's a look from another angle. The formless blob is not only immense, it looks like it's coated in some sort of white, shaggy hair. What kind of animal has hair like that? It seems like it's something that shouldn't exist. And in fact, if this animal were terrestrial, it wouldn't be able to exist because of its sheer body mass. Folklore is chock full of legendary sea creatures as big as this carcass. The ancient Hebrew Leviathan, the Jormungandr of Norse mythology, and the Kraken, a kind of giant octopus, so big it was described as a floating island in Viking eyewitness accounts. Oh man, I bet that stinks there. But field researcher Cliff Barrickman says these carcasses have their own name. Globsters. Globsters are cool in every way. It's part blob, it's part glob, it's part lobster. I mean, how awesome is that? Globsters have been turning up on shores around the globe for years. This one, known as the Cherbourg carcass, was discovered in France in 1934. But what to make of this one? Lobsters have also washed up on beaches in New Zealand, Bermuda, Canada, South Africa, and right here in Florida. But they've never been spotted in the water alive. So what exactly are we looking at here? Let's turn to our analysts. Wildlife biologist Lucy Eckersley first focuses on that amorphous mass of tissue. I think these could be mistaken for lots of different sea animals. And because they look kind of squishy, you might think that they look like a giant octopus or a giant squid. A giant squid? But look. We can see some exposed bone. This video clearly shows this creature has a spine, so it can't be an invertebrate. Next question, what to make of that hair? What looks like hair across this creature is actually fibers of collagen. Marine biologist Dr. Shea Conger says that collagen a protein that provides structure to skin, bones, and tendons is the biggest clue. When components of the body begin to break down, the collagen begins to emerge. And because collagen doesn't break down as quickly as other tissues, these globsters can start to take on a hairy appearance that you wouldn't expect or be able to explain if you weren't familiar. So what was this before the sea decomposed it into a globster? This is actually pretty typical of what I would expect to see in regards to the carcass of a large whale. You can see some striations on the bottom of this object, and that is what we would expect to see in the mouth cavity of a large whale, such as a blue whale. And Conger should know. As you can see, she's been up close and personal with globsters herself. To witness firsthand one of these animals at close distance to the human mind is almost unsurmountable. You're looking at the scale of an animal that's bigger than anything that's ever lived on the planet. And so to unpracticed eyes, they seem absolutely impossible. Ultimately, this story is about the power of the sea. In this case, it's power to transform the bodies of dead animals into something unrecognizable. And once that hair was explained to us, it became clear. Our verdict, the globster is not the kraken or a sea monster, it's a dead whale.